But, uh, Jim, we talk so often about sports and sports rights, and you talk so often about football, Thursday night football on Amazon. It's a story right now, as it always is, as the bundle continues to unravel sports, perhaps the glue that holds it together. But at the same time, given its cost, one of the reasons why people may be choosing to cut the cord. And I asked Malone sort of where we are in that evolution and how he sees things playing out when it comes to all important sports rights and sports viewing. When it comes to sports, one still sees enormous market power in sports as long as there's competition amongst distributors. So that, so that if a distributor feels like he has to have it or he's going to lose a meaningful number of his customers to somebody else, to a competitor, he'll pay the price and hope that everybody pays the same price so that there's no competitive disadvantage. The problem with that is you end up with a total bundle cost that just uh, uh, starts to drive people away from the bundle in, in total. I mean, for instance, Formula One is, is a sport that, that I'm fairly familiar with. And the strategy of do you move Formula One over to streaming and get paid a lot of money by a streamer, or do you continue to bifurcate it have a lot of it on broadcast television or, or free to air, let's call it. Uh, how do you want, and, and as you're trying to build up scale and support for a sport, reach is very important. You want the broadest possible exposure of your sport and you want to be able to promote it on the broadest possible platform. The, the history of using sports uh, as a locomotive or as a marketing tool you know, has a long history in our business. And I suspect that it'll be experimented with by the Apples and the Amazons uh, to see how sticky it is, you know, how, uh, how sustainable it is. The leagues are going to have to be careful. They don't want to end up with uh, a very high-priced premium service with no reach because then the kids will stop watching the sport, right? So, right. so it's a... And the guys who run these, these uh, leagues are very smart guys. And they've got this pretty well figured out how to balance uh, reach, promotion with their, with their short-term economics.